Do was basically about a ecology project uh, where we had to plant a plant where um, we had a choice which was spinach or lettuce. Um, I chose spinach because my teacher said that it grew faster than than lettuce and we had to do two plants. We could do a control plant where everything everything was the same. We were also given a choice to change one thing in our experiment plant. I thought that if you grew uh, the plant in a larger pot, it would have more room to grow and the spinach would um, have more space so the roots can grow bigger and at least 40% if I... But my hypothesis was re rejected because my observations in the end showed that um, the that the numbers showed that they're almost the same in size of the finished plant for the control plant was about 8.4 centimeters and the size of the experimental plant over here was around 8.9 so it did so the independent variable in this um, the size of the pot in the experimental plant uh, which was about two times larger than the cup that was provided and also what else I changed was the ratio uh, ratio between the amount of soil to the dependent variable of the four seeds and the amount of water that was given to each um, each plant for each visit and the sunlight that was coming to the plant uh, measuring the growth. Lastly, the control variable was basically the variable amount of seeds because that could not change so it had to be four seeds so I get accurate results because if I added too many seeds then I variable was basically um, the location and the amount of soil. You have to get a styrofoam cup which is provided and you have to get four seeds over here. So what you have to do, you have to go to the, over to the soil station and you have to put soil in that and then after once you've patted that down um, the soil should be around three quarters to almost a cup full of your uh, of soil and four seeds and you should put them inside the the plant like that and you want to make sure that they're not that deep they're just about one to two centimeters deep so the plant has space to grow so it can rise up 20 to 50 centimeters uh, or sorry not centimeters milliliters of water so this would uh, help your plant grow every day and then you want to record your observations you want to keep your um, plant in a special environment which would help it grow. So you're in a tool to measure diameter over here, right? So basically what I did first was um, I basically measured from the spout, so all the way to the bottom where the, where the seed was, to all the way to the top of the plant from where it grew. And I measured the diameter of the, of the stem. So the stem, I counted how many leaves there were and what color they were, etc. Also, I compared the color of the plant as it progressed and grew. And I also took account of how many water, how much water was given to each each seed and how evenly dispersed it was spread out. So each day there would be around 20 to 40 milliliters of water given. And also I collected all this data by writing it in a chart and I also took pictures. After I was done my plan experiment, I noticed some conclusions that I that I found from my data. So on the days that I put uh, 40 milliliters to 50 milliliters of water, I noticed that uh, one to two centimeters of the plant grew the next day. I noticed that when um, when there was 60 milliliters, there was no growth because the plant had um, had been over irrigated and it basically drowned in the water. And also, what I noticed that. You could tell when the plant is really growing and it's in its full climax stage when the plant is starting to turn uh, a really green, uh, a dark green. What I do next time to yield better results were firstly that I should stay with the plant 24-7 or as long as possible so I can um, water the plant when it needs water and it would be better if it was outside in a better location because I noticed that we just kept our plants inside uh, the dark classroom with a little bit of artificial light which would not help because there would not be enough energy for the plant to undergo th uh, photosynthesis so it can grow to its full extent. Also I noticed that if the if this location was larger uh, if we had gotten larger pots or cups, then the plant would have more space to grow and it could grow to its full extent. Okay, so 
what I could test test next time is basically different types of fertilizers uh, which are given to plants and how they basically affect the plant right so this is DDT for example see how would it affect the plant how would it affect uh, what would be its societal effects like the smell or how much um, how much flies or bugs or insect vectors are attracted to it and etc also what else I could uh, Test would be uh, putting different types of soils into the plants, which would uh, affect the growth and how beneficial would it be to the plant. So, for example, I could put uh, soil mixtures that have a high concentration of nitrogen in it or, let's say, a high phosphorus amount in it. So, uh, see how beneficial that can be. And using that, we, we, could, we could tell that um, um, we could give this soil to many countries that are going through poverty and don't... Alright, so it looks like this concludes my uh, last and final science vlog.